Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get more smartest. In 1751, James Madison, the fourth U.S. president and one of the founding fathers, was born in Virginia. In 1792, King Gustav III of Sweden is shot. He died on March 29th. In 1802, the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York, was opened. It was founded as a training center for the U.S. Corps of Engineers. In 1827, Freedom's Journal, the first U.S. newspaper owned and operated by African Americans, begins publishing in New York City. In 1829, the state of Ohio authorizes high school night classes. In 1830, London, England reorganizes their police force and now calls it Scotland Yard. In 1834, aboard the HMS Beagle, Charles Darwin anchors in the Falkland Islands for the first time. In 1836, the Constitution of the Republic of Texas is approved, legalizing slavery. In 1850, American author Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter was published. In 1861, Edward Clark becomes governor of Texas, replacing Sam Houston, who had been removed from office for refusing to take an oath of loyalty to the Confederacy. Also during 1861, the Arizona Territory votes to leave the Union due to the Civil War. In 1867, in the medical journal The Lancet, Joseph Lister publishes an article outlining the discovery of antiseptic surgery. In 1872, the Wanderers soccer team beat the Royal Engineers during the first FA Cup, which is the oldest soccer competition in the world. In 1876, in New York City, Nellie Saunders and Rose Harlan fight the first female boxing match. In 1882, the U.S. Senate ratifies the first Geneva Convention, legitimizing the International Red Cross and the American Red Cross. In 1883, Susan Hayhurst becomes the first U.S. woman to graduate a pharmacy college. In 1900, it is announced that baseball's American League will be comprised of the Chicago White Stockings, the Washington Senators, the Milwaukee Brewers, the Detroit Tigers, the Cleveland Blues, the Boston Americans, the Philadelphia Athletics, and the Baltimore Orioles. Also in 1900, Sir Arthur Evans rediscovers the Bronze Age city of Knossos in Crete, the home of the legendary Minotaur. In 1911, in today's Stanley Cup game, the Ottawa Senators beat the Port Arthur Bearcats 13-4. In 1912, American First Lady Helen Herron Taft plants the first cherry tree in Washington, D.C. In 1915, the Federal Trade Commission is created. In 1916, the U.S. and Canada signed the Migratory Bird Treaty. In 1920, the One Acre Baby Park in the Bronx, New York, is renamed Melrose Park. In 1926, the first liquid-fueled rocket is launched. Also in 1926, American comedian Jerry Lewis is born. In 1930, the USS Constitution, also called Old Ironsides, is floated out to become a national shrine. In 1934, the Academy Awards Gold Statuette is first called an Oscar. Also in 1934, at the 6th Academy Awards, the movie Cavalcade wins. In 1935, Adolf Hitler rearms Germany in violation of the Versailles Treaty. In 1938, Noel Coward's highly successful musical operetta premieres in London. Also in 1938, Temple defeats Colorado to win the first NIT basketball tournament. In 1939, today Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi of Iran marries Princess Fazia of Egypt. Also in 1939, in an NHL record game today, the New York Rangers scored seven and the New York Americans scored three for a total of 10 goals in the first period and then a record 26 goals in the third period. That would have been an amazing game to see. In 1941, a blizzard hits North Dakota and Minnesota, killing 60 people. Also in 1941, the National Gallery of Art opens in Washington, D.C. In 1942, the first V-2 rocket test launch occurs. It exploded at liftoff. In 1945, 5,000 people are killed when 90% of Würzburg, Germany is destroyed in only 20 minutes by British bombers. In 1948, American singer Billie Holiday is released from prison early due to good behavior. In 1949, at the sixth Golden Globes, Johnny Belinda, Laurence Olivier, and Jane Wyman win. 
1953, Baseball's American League rejects Bill Veek's request to move the St. Louis Browns to Baltimore. In 1954, American singer-songwriter Nancy Wilson is born. She and her sister Anne are known as the rock group Heart. In 1955, President Eisenhower reaffirms that the United States will use atomic weapons in case of war. That stance has not changed. In 1957, at the ninth Emmy Awards, the Phil Silver Show, Robert Young, and Loretta Young win. In 1958, the Ford Motor Company produces its 50 millionth automobile. It was a Thunderbird. In 1960, Alfred Hitchcock's movie Psycho premieres. In 1961, at the 18th Golden Globes, Spartacus, Burt Lancaster, and Greer Garson win. In 1962, a Flying Tiger Line Super Constellation commercial airliner disappears in the Western Pacific Ocean. 167 people go missing. In 1963, Mount Agung erupted on Bali, killing 11,000 people. In 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson asked Congress to pass the Economic Opportunity Act as part of his War on Poverty. Also in 1964, Paul Hornung and Alex Karras are reinstated in the NFL after a one-year suspension. In 1966, Gemini 8 is launched with Neil Armstrong and David R. Scott aboard. The flight is aborted after a critical system failure. Fortunately, the crew returns safely to Earth. In 1968, U.S. troops massacre 504 unarmed civilians during the My Lai Massacre in Vietnam. Many were children and infants. Also in 1968, New York Senator Robert Kennedy announces his intention to run for the Democratic presidential nomination. And in 1968 as well, General Motors produced its 100 millionth automobile. It was an Oldsmobile Toronado. In 1969, a Viasa DC-9 crashes in Venezuela, killing 155 people. In 1970, the first New English Bible is published. In 1971, at the 13th Grammy Awards, Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Water and The Carpenters Win Big. In 1972, John Lennon and Yoko Ono are served with deportation papers. In 1974, tonight is the first performance of the new Grand Old Opry House at Opryland in Nashville, Tennessee. In 1975, the U.S. Mariner 10 makes its third and final flyby of Mercury. In 1978, the Amoco Cadiz tanker ran aground off the coast of France and broke in two, releasing nearly 69 million gallons of crude oil. Also in 1978, former Italian Prime Minister Aldo Moro is kidnapped and is later killed by his captors. In 1979, CBS TV airs Wings Over the World with Paul McCartney. In 1983, American radio and television host Arthur Godfrey passes away. In 1984, William Buckley, the CIA station chief in Beirut, Lebanon, is kidnapped by Islamic fundamentalists and later dies in captivity. In 1985, Associated Press newsman Terry Anderson is taken hostage in Beirut. He is finally released on December 4, 1991. In 1988, the Kurdish town of Halabja in Iraq is attacked with a mix of poison gas and nerve agents on the orders of Saddam Hussein, killing 5,000 people and injuring another 10,000. Also in 1988, as a result of the Iran-Contra affair, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North and Vice Admiral John Poindexter are indicted on charges of conspiracy to defraud the United States. In 1991, seven members of Reba McIntyre's band are killed in a plane crash. Also in 1991, Christy Yamaguchi wins the World Ladies Figure Skating Championship in Munich, Germany. In 1994, American figure skater Tanya Harding pleads guilty to felony attack on former Olympic teammate Nancy Kerrigan. In 1995, today the state of Mississippi ratified the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery. It was 130 years late, and it was then another 18 years before they bothered to notify the federal government. In 1996, the Montreal Canadiens play their first game in their new Bell Centre Arena. In 1998, Pope John Paul II asked God for forgiveness for the inactivity and silence of some Roman Catholics during the Holocaust. 
In 2005, Israel officially hands over Jericho to Palestine. In 2012, George Clooney and Martin Luther King III are arrested outside the Sundanese embassy for civil disobedience. In 2014, voters in Crimea vote overwhelmingly to leave Ukraine and rejoin Russia amid international condemnation. In 2016, U.S. President Barack Obama nominates Merrick Garland as a Supreme Court Justice. Also in 2016, U.S. college student Odo Warmbier is sentenced to 15 years hard labor for trying to steal a political poster in North Korea. Good choice. In 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump's second travel ban is blocked by two federal courts. In 2019, a beached dead whale found in the Philippines has 88 pounds of plastic inside it, including 40 pounds of plastic bags. In 2020, several COVID-19 related things occurred today. Global infections and deaths from COVID-19 overtake those in China for the first time. France orders a national lockdown. The U.S. recommends people only meet in groups of 10 or less. Six counties surrounding San Francisco are told to shelter in place. A study by London Imperial College shows that the spread of COVID-19 could lead to 250,000 deaths in the U.K. and over 1 million deaths in the United States. And Major League Baseball suspends the remainder of spring training and delays the start of the regular season. In 2021, Israeli researchers reveal the rediscovery of 2,000-year-old Dead Sea Scrolls. And lastly, in 2021, a gunman shoots and kills eight people at three different spas in Atlanta, Georgia. So that was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and that you go and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos right there in front of you and I have a lot more coming. Have a great day.